For the last six years since the post-election violence that saw slums being the hard hit in Nairobi, Pastor Josphat Oma has never paid rent to his rental house in Kembiu slum. Instead, he has been posing as the landlord and therefore receiving monthly payments from eight tenants. Wakati hiyo watu walikuwa wamejua mimi ni mwenye ploti kwa sababu kuna wengine walitoka kitambo sasa wenye walikuja walijua mimi ndio mwenye ploti. But things have taken a different twist through a project dubbed Kenya to Nawezo. Close to 200 house units and two plots of land have been handed back to the rightful owners in Kembiu slum. Nimemrudishia room 8 pamoja na chona bafu na hata hizo pesa yenye nilikuwa nimechukua kwa hiyo muda Due to the rescue of uh, USAID, uh, Kenya Tunaweza, they've returned uh, the properties, 888 eight, eight pieces. The project is funded by USAID Kenya at the tune of $1.7 million. Kituo Cha Sharia, CHF International and PeaceNet Kenya are the implementers of the program that seeks to reduce ethnic and politically motivated conflict. U.S. Ambassador to Kenya Robert Godek has said dialogue is the right road to solve conflicts. I know that land in Kenya is a big issue. Who owns land is a big challenge for this country. Solving this problem peacefully and in dialogue, that is the, that is the way, that is the path, that is the future, that is the way to build a greater Kenya. Even with the program being targeted to roll out to other slums on a voluntary basis, some of the property in Kiambiu still remains in the wrong hands with those returning the property, seeking assistance since they had made the illegally acquired properties their source of livelihood. Lakini meshukuru ndugu maina wakati amesema atanipatia hapo room moja niweze kulelea hapo watoto nimemshukuru If the Kenya Tunawezo project is anything to go by then other areas affected by the 2007 2008 post election violence should pick a cue from Kambiu residents Henry Maina GBS News